King James Bible, the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 29. Woe to Ariel, to Ariel, the city where David dwelt, add ye year to year, let them kill sacrifices. Yet I will distress Ariel, and there sh shall be heaviness and sorrow, and it shall be unto me as Ariel. And I will camp against thee round about, and then will lay siege against thee with a mount, and I will raise forts against thee. And thou shalt be brought down, and shalt speak out of the ground, and thy speech shall be low out of the dust, and thy voice shall be as of one that hath a familiar spirit out of the ground, and thy speech shall whisper out of the dust. Moreover, the multitude of thy strangeness, of thy strangers, shall be like small dust, and the multitude of the terrible ones shall be as chaff that passeth away. Yea, it shall be be at an instant suddenly thou shalt be visited of the lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise and with thunder with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire and the multitude of all the nations will fight against ariel even all the fight against her and her munition that her and that her and that distress her shall be as a dream of a night vision it shall be it shall even be as when a hungry man dreameth and behold he eateth but he awaketh and his soul is empty or as when a thirsty man dreameth and behold he drinketh but he awakeneth and behold he is faint and his soul hath appetite so shall the multitude of all the nations be that fight against mount zion stay yourselves in wonder cry ye out and cry they are drunken but not with wine they stagger but not with strong drink for the Lord hath poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep, and hath closed your eyes, the prophets and your rulers, the seers hath he covered, and the vision of all that, uh, and the vision of all is become unto you as the words of a book that is sealed, which men deliver to one that is learned, saying, Read this, I pray thee. He saith, I cannot, for it is sealed, and the book is delivered to him that is not learned saying, Read this, I pray thee, and he saith, I am not learned. Wherefore the Lord saith, For as much as the people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips, do honor me, but have removed their heart far, far from me, and their fear toward me is taught by the precept of men. Therefore, behold, I will proceed to do a marvelous work among this people, even a marvelous work and a wonder, for the wisdom of their wise men shall perish, and the understanding of their prudent men shall be hid. Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord, and their works that are in the in the dark. And they say, Who seeth us, and who knoweth us? Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as one of as esteemed as the potter's clay. For shall the work say of him that made it, He made it, He made me not. Or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it? He had no understanding. Is it not yet a very little while, and Lebanon shall be turned into a fruitful field, and the fruitful field shall be esteemed as a forest? And in that day shall the deaf hear the words of the book, and the eyes of the blind shall see out of the obscurity and out of darkness. The meek also shall increase their joy in the Lord, and the poor among them shall rejoice in the Holy One of Israel. For the terrible one is brought to naught, and the scorner is consumed. And all that watch it, all that watch for iniquity are cut off, that make a man an offender for a word, and lay a snare for him that reproveth in the gate, and turn aside the just for a thing of naught. Therefore thus saith the Lord, who redeemed Abraham, concerning the house of Jacob, Jacob shall not be ashamed, neither shall his face now wax pale. But when he seeth his children, the work of mine hand in the midst of him, they shall sanctify my name and sanctify the Holy One of Jacob and shall fear the God of Israel. They also that erred in spirit shall come to understanding and they that murmured shall learn doctrine. Chapter 30 Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me, that, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin that walk to go down into Egypt, and have not asked at my mouth, to strengthen, the, strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh, and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame, 
and the trust of the shadow of Egypt your confusion. For his princes are at Zon, and his ambassadors came to Hanes, and, and they were all ashamed of a people that could not profit them, nor be a help nor profit, but a shame and also a reproach, the burden of the beasts of the south into the land of trouble and anguish. From whence come the young and old lion, the viper and the fiery flying serpent. They will carry their riches upon their shoulders of young asses and the treasure upon the bunches of camels to a people that shall not profit them. For the Egyptians shall help in vain and to no purpose. Therefore have I cried concerning this. Their strength is to sit still. Now go write it before them in a table and note it in a book that it may be for the time to come forever and ever. That this is the rebel that this is the rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord, which say to the peers, See not, and to the prophets, prophecy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, prophecy deceits. Get you out of the way, turn aside out of the path, cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. Wherefore thus saith the Holy One of Israel, because ye devote because ye despise this word, and trust in oppression, and perverseness, and stay thereon, therefore this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out in a high wall, whose breaking cometh suddenly at an instant. And ye shall break it as at the breaking of the potter's vessel that, it, that is broken in pieces. He shall not spare, so that there shall not be found in the bursting of it a shred, a shard to take fire from the hearth, or to take water withal out of the pit. For thus saith the Lord God of the Holy One of Israel, In returning in rest shall ye be saved, in quietness and in confidence shall be your strength, and ye would not. Be ye no, for we will flee upon horses, therefore shall ye flee. And we will ride upon the swift, therefore shall they that pursue you be swift. One thousand shall flee at the rebuke of one, and at the rebuke of five shall ye flee, till ye be left as a beacon upon the top of a mountain, and as an ensign upon a hill. And therefore will the Lord wait, that he may be gracious unto you, and therefore will he be exalted, that he may have mercy upon you. For the Lord is a God of judgment, blessed are all that they that wait for him for the people shall dwell in zion at jerusalem thou shalt weep no more he will be very gracious unto thee at the voice of thy cry when he shall hear it he will answer thee and through the lord give you the bread of adversity and water of affliction yet yet ye shall not yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner any more but thine eyes shall see thy teachers and thine ear shall hear a word behind thee, saying, This is the way, walk ye in it. When ye turn to the right hand, and when ye turn to the left, ye shall defile also the covering of thy graven images of silver, and the ornament of thy molten images of gold. Thou shalt cast them away as a menstruous cloth. Thou shalt say unto thee, Get thee hence. Then shall ye give the rain of thy seed, that thou shalt not sow thy ground withal, the bread of the increase of the earth, and it shall be fat and pleasant is. In that day shall thy cattle field feed in large pastures. The oxen likewise and the young asses that ear the ground shall eat clean provender, which hath been widowed with the shovel and with the fan. And there shall be upon every high mountain and upon every high hill rivers and streams of waters in the day of the great slaughter when the towers fall. More, moreover, the light of the moon shall be as the light of the sun, and the light of the sun shall be sevenfold, as the light of seven days on the day that the Lord bindeth up the breach of his people, and healeth the stroke of their wound. Behold, the name of the Lord cometh from far, burning with his anger, and, with, and the burden thereof is heavy. His lips are full of indignation, and his tongue is a devouring fire, and his breath is an overflowing stream shall reach into the midst of the neck to sift the nations of the sieve of vanity, and there shall be a bridle in the jaws of the people, causing them to err. He shall have a song as in the night when the holy solemnity is kept, and the gladness of heart as when one goeth with a pipe to come unto the mountain of the Lord, to the mighty one.